DMT 2012. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say I did not copy Jay's reviews. This is bad timing because considering the fact that I was supposed to upload this video a while ago, and the original title was Why TMT with TMT 2012? Why is it so great? But he made that title, so I have to change it to why. I love TMT 2012 part one. I have a different view on the series. Well, he is an experienced in the series. I grew up up with the series and this is my first TMT like thing I ever watched. I did eventually watch Rise of TMT in the movies. And today we're gonna just review TMT twenty twelve. This is like the season one. Season one is like the season that I lost I watch uh the least but it's still a good season regardless. I'm gonna go with the characters, the locations, plot points, story, all that. So we get to the characters. There's Leo, Leo Leonardo, the Leah of the t Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raph, a hothead, brawl, a hothead brawler, Donatello, the smart and smart scientist of the group, and Michelangelo, the chill group, the chill member of the group, and often like the comic relief. These, these, um, character personalities are most brought up in this um, series. I know it's not scripted, but still. I know this is not scripted, but still. Okay. Even their weapons reflect. And their weapons were made to be, like, they were made to be, to correspond with the character's weaknesses. So, again, I, I like how the character personalities are. My favorite character in the show is definitely Leonardo and Michelangelo. I like Raph and I like Donatello. But I think that I think they're best in this version. I know people like the two thousand three version. I never watched it. And people like the nineteen eighty seven version. I only watched one episode. Rise, I think they're okay. Michael Bay movies, I think they're also pretty good in that one too. And yeah, that's hot take. So yeah. What's other characters? Master Splinter. Master Splinter is a good character. It's often his story is that he's once human that was mutated to become a rat, and the mutagen spilled all over the turtles, creating the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and he trained them to be excellent fighters and karate masters. His his brother is adopted. He used to have adopted brother named. Sh Arakusaki, who would become Shredder. And both of them fought over this one girl, T Tang Shen, who is the wife of Mata Yoshi, which is Master Splinter. They fought, and Araku Arakusaki would take one of his big, one of Mata Yoshi's, well, just one, Mata Yoshi's child. And that would be Cry. Cry isn't really, is a minor character, right? She's a side character. I think Karai is a good character. I think she's developed more in season three and two. I think she's more he, she's more developed in those seasons. But I think she's a good villain for the first season. I like Shredder as a kid. It's my favorite Shredder interpretation because I like how he actually cares for his, like, cares for Karai instead of being like this pure evil bad guy. And I don't think that's what Shredder's supposed to be. He he's jealous. He's envious. He's he's, but he could be also be caring. I mean, he's not just some like pure evil brute. He just like he cares about other people, and that's shown through Cry. The other characters are like the mighty mutants and uh, the mighty new animals like Letterhead. I like Letterhead. He's a good character. April O'Neil, she's she's a, like the overall like all around character like, just like the normal human of the group that hangs out with the turtles, and Donatello has a crush on her. Another character that's cool, uh, that are cool I should say, are the Krang. The Krang and usually in other interpretations are, he's the Krang is just one person, but they they change it up and they Krang into multiple beings. A species, if you will, with one supreme leader would be the Crank Prime. And 
Yeah, that's basically all we got for the crane. We have many. We have Shredder has his um his minions such as Dog Pound, Dog Pound, Fish Face, Baxter Stockman. And yeah, those are three three minions, three main minions. Dog Pound gets a redesign in season two. We're not gonna talk about that right now since we just see that for part two. But he gets a redesign. Uh Fish Face is like I don't know what accent he has. I might just like edit it and put the, what he has, but I might not. And Baxter Stockman. Box Stockman isn't really like as important as as other interpretation, but he's like a comic relief. And yeah, that I like Stockman. They didn't add Bebop and Rocksteady yet, but they added them later in the sec uh, Bebop in the um second season and Rocksteady in the third season. That's cool. What else to say about TMT twenty twelve? I want to get into more during the part two. I think it would be better to get into because that's when things ramp up more. So yeah. Well, season one, it's silver. I mean, it's not the best season. I think season two, season three, and season four are way better than this. But it's a good introduction to the show, and this is what made me enjoy the show. So, yeah. Overall, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you in part two, and for the Dormitus video, and for the Smart Bros movie video. Okay, bye.